actually, Andy knew about me um, because when I kept the very first time, um, his father, Bill Flower, who is, you know, who's a man after my own heart, he he was uh, he was umpiring as well as coaching us, uh-huh. and um, and and I, the, the wicket keeper did not turn up, so I'm I'm going back to when I was um, when I was uh, 13, so the wicket keeper did not turn up, so he asked if anyone wanted to volunteer um, and keep, and I just put my hand up, so I said, well, I'll try it. Um, I wasn't afraid of trying things, uh, so um, you know I just put my hand up straight away, and um, and it so happened that Andy came to uh, to see his father about something. So while list, um, so while list I was keeping, Bill Flower asked Andy what he thought about my hand-eye coordination, just the general, um, you know, general movement, general keeping movement, and Andy said he's a natural. Mm. So then Bill said. So Bill said to Andy, so if you think he's a natural, he doesn't have keeping gloves, he doesn't have keeping pads, so I'm I'm gonna leave it on you to you know, to bring your old pair of gloves and, and, and pads uh, so that I can take them to him so that he carries on keeping. And Andy, true to his word, did that. And I got a you know, I got a um, I got a visitor, Bill Flower, at uh, in school because I was in boarding school. Yeah. And he says, I've got something for you. This is Andy Flowers keeping pads and um, you know, uh, keeping gloves. And you're n- never going to leave keeping because of that. So, <laughs> so then that was a decision to you know to start to stop bowling and, and start keeping. Um, so he he knew of me from because he kept following up about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, so he knew of me already. And Bill, Bill, you know, Bill would talk about the, the three, you know, the the four musketeers. So being myself, Stuart Matikenyere, Hamuton Masakaza, and Busimuzi Sibanda. So we used to spend a lot of time together and with Bill. So um, so when I met the national team, Andy was the captain, and he just took me under his wing straight away. Yeah. Uh, so whenever we did extra training, he would make sure that I was there. Um, and every time we'd play the game, he would sit next to me and say, um, or most of the time, he would sit next to me and say, Titi, um, what did you think uh, we did right? And what did you what do you think we did wrong? So I knew that question was coming every, you know, almost mm. every time we were, in the, we were on the bus. So I started thinking ahead, you know, like Andy's going to ask me this question and must have an answer. Yeah. So... Um, so I think he was just preparing me to, you know, uh, you know, to 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 uh, you know to assess, um, you know, to you know to learn to do team assessment and as well as individual assessment. Uh, mm. um, you know, because he would come and say, "You got out to a straight ball. That ball, I had a look at it. It didn't swing. Why did you miss that ball?" So I had to answer because I, you know, I used to practice, you know, with him at at times on tours. So, um, so because of that, that started getting me to think more about the game. Yep. Um, and you would say, uh, Tiba, um, if you were the captain, which bowling changes would you make? Had to, you know, I had to think. So I had, I learned to think more about the game when the game was going on, as a preparation to answering Andy. But what he, what really he was doing was teaching me to think more about the game and to, you know, to be able to assess. Um, you know, situations as the game goes. 